The Big Ten's back in play. They might as well put on a Michael Jackson record and do the moonwalk. What an embarrassing display from the Big Ten. This is your Pub Sports Radio Hot Topic of the Day. I'm Donnie Seymour, and this is your Pub Sports Radio Hot Topic of the Day. We've talked about it so many times over the summer about the Big Ten and how embarrassing of a display they've been putting on all the way back through as early as July. Setting schedules, four days later, canceling the season. They have Kevin Warren, the president of the Big Ten, excuse me, the commissioner of the Big Ten, coming out and making decisions saying, we are not going to revisit it. This is in the best interest of our universities, only to see everybody else in the nation playing college football on TV, and then figured, hey, we're missing out on the party. That's what happens when you make it political and you don't listen to science and data. The Big Ten has a huge issue on their hands because the presidents of the universities that originally voted no were not listening to anything other with science and data and just going along on their political guidelines saying it's good for the country, it's good for change if we force a shutdown in college football so we appear smart. Not listening that these college-age kids are not going to be harmed by this virus. The myocarditis that they said 30 to 40 percent that only somewhere the Big Ten kids actually got this all of a sudden disappeared overnight in embarrassing display from the Big Ten and even watching some of the bigger outlets such as ESPN today backtracking well a month ago they praise it how great the Big Ten is looking out for the kids and the institutions on the kids side this time only to say three weeks later how great the Big Ten treated everything they weren't the first ones into the pool they watched everything played out and then jumped in no they just played politics in the Big Ten embarrassing Kevin Warren the commissioner of the Big Ten should immediately resign as well as every single president that voted down to play college football and have fall sports in the fall not listening to any science and data whatsoever that they preach that they listen to, but instead going with their political affiliations and trying to shut it down. The conferences that were smart got right out and said, you know what? These kids are going to be healthier by being on campus and playing football, not sitting at home with their family and friends. And one other point here I want to bring up when you take a look at ESPN. Dominic Foxworth came on. He's a great NFL analyst. I love listening to him. But on TV, he said it's still not a smart decision because if you're playing football, you're going to expose yourself to this virus and they should sit it out. Got newsflash for you. You're more likely to get COVID by going into a grocery store, going to the gas station, going home to play, to hang out with your friends, play Xbox, be around your family members, be around your teammates off campus in a different environment. You got to be kidding me with this whole nonchalant act where you said, hey, they can't play football because we don't know what's going to happen down the line. Welcome to the world. You could walk across the street. You could drive your car. Everything could end in a moment. Listen to science and data. The Big Ten embarrassed itself by playing politics instead of listening to science and data. Welcome back, Big Ten. And again, also, if you want to get into the college football playoff, you better run the table and go 8-0. and If there's one loss in that conference, you are immediately out of the college football playoff. That is your penalty. I'm Donnie Seymour for Pub Sports Radio, and this was your hot topic of the day.